channel um hello guys um so yesterday i made a video of me reacting to um final to freddy's song it's me and today okay by the way today we're not gonna be reacting to another FNAF song um just to say i just wanted to say something today. well about a book series called i survive so in the year 2019 i got these books I survived the sinking of the Titanic, 1912. I survived the Sark Attacks, 1916. And I survived Hurricane Katrina, 2005. Um, and then, when I finished reading all those books, I'm like, wow, this is a really good series. I really like this series. And then, this was like, 2020 i think that i got these books of i survive i survive five epic disasters it has tsunami lizard tornado flood and titanic and also this one i survive true stories nature attacks and then it says here harrowing tales of young survivors <laughs> of course i like these books again and what happened today i got three more books from Amazon. So when he arrived, I got excited. So that's what I'm doing today, guys. I'm gonna show you the new books I got today. Um, and when I got them, I got really excited. So I'm like, let's make a video. So here we are. And here we go, guys. The first book that I saw today, which is, um, Book 17, by the way. So, the Titanic one um, here is book one. This is book two. And this is book three. So, I kind of skipped through and went on to book 17 called I Survived the Attack of the Grizzlies, 1967. And it says here, no grizzly has ever killed a human in Glacier before, until tonight. 11-year-old Melody Vega and her family come to Glacier National Park every year. And it's always been a place where she can forget her troubles. But this year is different. With mom gone, every moment in the park is heartbreaking. Reminder of the past. Then Mel comes face to face with the mighty grizzly. Now her only thought is one of the one is one of survival. Mel will soon be a part of one of the most tragic seasons in the history of America's national parks. A summer of terror that will forever change ideas about how grizzlies and humans can exist together in the wild. When disaster strikes, heroes are made. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, okay, that was pretty good um, blurb. Looking at the, looking at the cover makes it look like you already know it's going to be a pretty good book. And now, on to book 18. Which is the second one I found. Well, I saw when I opened it. It's I Survived the Battle of D Day 1944. It says here A battle that would change the course of World War II. 11 year old Paul's friend's village has been under Nazi control for years. His Jewish, his Jewish best friend has disappeared. Food is scar scarce. And there, and there doesn't seem to be anything Paul can do to make things better. Then Paul, Paul finds out an American patroop pat, in a tree near his home. The soldier says that the Allies have a plan to crush the Nazis once and for all. But the soldiers need Paul's help. 
This is Paul's chance to make a difference. Soon, he finds himself in the midst of the largest invasion in history. Can he do his part to turn horror into hope? When disaster strikes, heroes are made. By the way, also pretty good blurb. Um, this um, okay. So the cover of this book, so it's a really good story. Um, and yeah, and this one, believe it or not, I was well, I was not in the disaster, but I was actually like, of course, alive when this disaster happened, and it's this. I survive. The California wildfires of 2018. I remember when this happened here in California. Um, I actually got so scared. Um, but I was far away from the fire, so it was good for me. Um, but for the people that were in the fire, I kind of got so scared in 2018. Um, and yeah. Okay, now let's read the blurb. The deadliest fire season in 100 years. What that means the last deadliest fire was in 1918. Okay. Joss and his mom are escaping a crisis back home when they fly across the country to stay with their cousins in California. It's a strange time for Joss, but he and his cousins, Holly, become fast friends and they explore the huge forest surrounding Holly's house. Then one day, the cousins find themselves in the path of a fast-moving firestorm. A superheated monster that will soon destroy millions of acres of wilderness and possibly much more. Jaws needs to face the family crisis burning him up inside. But first, he and Holly have to survive the flames blazing all around them. When disaster strikes, heroes are made. That's a really good blurb. Um, okay, so, yeah, this really happened, guys. 2018. California wildfire. Well, for all of the stories actually happened. But this was the deadliest wildfire in a hundred years. Stop climate change, everyone, please. We need to stop climate change because you see, you see what's the cause? The deadliest wildfires in a hundred years. So we need to stop. That's that's already a sign. This is pretty good. Now that I read all the blurbs and that stuff. Well, okay, I'm going to be reading all these books, um, which will be so fun. Um, um, probably in some video, uh, like, uh, like, like, in, okay, so probably in three videos, I'm going to read, in the first video, I'll probably read the first chapter of the Attack of the Grizzly. Then the second one, I'll probably do a chapter of the Battle of D-Day, 1944. And the third one, I'll read the first chapter of the California Wildfires 2018. Okay, I'm so excited to read these books. And yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. Stay safe, wash your hands for 20 seconds, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone! Remember, we need to stop this, or else. This could be you.